thing on. Okay. I think we have a problem. Is it just me or has anyone else noticed how many cameras and lenses and different equipment is now available that all claim to be the best at what they do? There's this camera and this camera and this camera and this camera and this camera. I think you get my point. Now, while it's amazing as a consumer to have all these different options available to you, it's also slightly discouraging because, at least for me, it feels like anything that's older than 12 months has become completely obsolete, which results to our problem, that we constantly lust after the gear that we don't have and completely neglect and despise the gear that we do have, which causes a lot of people to not go out and create because eh, what does it matter? It's not gonna look as good as everyone else's, right? So my goal with this video is to help put an end to the idea that you need the latest and greatest equipment to make good videos or photos or whatever content it is that you're trying to create. I've heard it said that the best camera is the one that you own. Now, I don't entirely agree with that statement However, I do think that in principle, that is true. Because to be honest, it's just not worth it to stress out about the gear that you have. If you do have something to work with, use it, go out and shoot, and see what you can come up with. And if at some point later you have the desire and the ability to upgrade, then by all means do it. But for now, like I said, it's honestly just not worth freaking out about whether or not you have the newest and the best equipment at your disposal. Because let's be honest, even if you did in about six months, you're going to feel that exact same way all over again. Now, maybe you're watching this video because of the title and you were hoping that I was going to tell you what's the best camera for you. But to be honest, I don't think there's a company or a person for that matter that can tell you what's going to be the best tool specifically for you. However, I think I can help shed some light in a general sense to help make the decision process a little bit easier. And the way that I think about it is that buying a camera or a lens or any equipment for that matter is very similar to buying a car. You need to first start with what you can afford and what makes sense for you. If you cannot afford a Ferrari, then you probably shouldn't be looking at Ferraris. You should probably stick to looking at Honda Civics or whatever it is that is in your budget. Now here lies the problem with so many of us, myself included, is that even though we can't afford the Ferrari, we, we look at the highest end and the most expensive thing in the class. We look at it as that is the standard for what we should be judging our decision on. And then we look at the thing or the camera that we actually can afford and we compare the two and it makes us feel so insignificant for what it is that we can actually purchase. And my advice for anybody that's watching this right now is just because you can't afford the nicest and newest camera doesn't mean that you can't still get the job done with what you can and what you do have. Now, I don't wanna come across like a hypocrite because even right now, I am shooting on a pretty nice camera, the Sony a7 III. But to prove this to you, in my next video, I'm gonna be taking a budget camera setup. I'm gonna be going out, shooting some photos, and I'm gonna show you guys in the next video the type of quality that you can get from an inexpensive budget camera. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely stay tuned and be on the lookout for next week's video as I take something that most of us would probably consider, you know, lower end and not great quality and show you that even with something that's not the nicest and the newest, you can still get really good results. All right, well, thank you to everyone for watching. I definitely look forward to hearing from you guys, so make sure to leave a comment down below if you have anything to say about this topic. And if you're new here and you're not yet subscribed, um, no pressure at all to do so. But if you do want to stay up to date and be notified of any new videos that I post, then subscribing definitely is the best way for you to do so. But anyways, guys, that's all for me today. I will see you guys in next week's video. So until then, have a great week and I'll see you later.